We had Service Mesh, we had Horton Works, um, Red Hat, I mean, all the players and startups we had on. Um, great. Last night was, uh, you know, full swing parties going on, so we got some reports there. But uh, day three, so we have a big agenda here today. We're going to talk with uh, Martin Casado at 3 o'clock. We're going to hear from Jim Curry from Rackspace, uh, MetaCloud startup out of Pasadena, SaltStack Cloud by a bunch of startups, and of course, the head guy at HP for Cloud, Sarge Lang, who I saw last night. Uh, exciting lineup, Jeff. Uh, day three is really rocking. It is. It's, uh, it, it is pretty amazing. And, you know, a lot of these shows, there's a lot of stuff going on in the sessions. Again, if you're looking at the Twitter stream and you can join the conversation at OpenStack, hashtag OpenStack, all the rooms are busy, um, they're filled, they're overflowing, people can't get enough information from a lot of the people that are here. But of course, like you said, at these shows there's the parties, and there was a really good vibe at the parties last night, uh, sponsored by a number of the people. HP, is uh, the one that I was at, was, was very well attended. And again, it, it is, uh, you know, it's, it's a long show, we've done a lot of interviews, <laughs> but we'll get through, and, and the people here are still excited. People were here bright and early this morning at 8 a.m., waiting to get into the, uh, to the vendor area, to the sponsor area, waiting to get past the poor security lady who was trying to keep them all into the keynote wrapped <laughs> up. But uh, yeah, another great day. You know, I, I listened a little bit to some of the interviews yesterday to pull out some of the content, and, and they're just chock full of, uh, of, of tremendous information. Yeah, go to siliconangle.com for the, all the coverage. Go to wikibon.org for the research. This is Silicon Angle, Wikibon's the Cube. Day three, exclusive coverage at OpenStack Summit. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick. Um, breaking down and just kicking off day, one, uh, day three here, Jeff, uh, things we want to continue to hear from folks is, what is infrastructure as code? What is going on with the cloud? Obviously, it's the tipping point. We talked about that yesterday, Flashpoint, where cloud is now coming into the enterprise in a big way, and service providers. This complete transformation is on an accelerated rate, and all the players involved are all doing it with scale out open source. Scale out open source is the preferred uh, method, technologies, and communities. And the, the, these platforms are significant. Now, what we didn't talk about yesterday that's interesting we're going to dive in today is, this is uh, the same open source community that uh, uh, overlaps with OSCON. OSCON is an O'Reilly event, and I saw the O'Reilly folks here earlier um, talking about OSCON, an event that happens here in, in, uh, in July. And that's kind of where OpenStack was born. We heard some of the references to, yeah, remember back in the day we were part of OSCON. So what you're seeing here is this OpenStack community is now shifting as a popular open source community, but it blends well, it overlaps with OSCON, it overlaps with the Hadoop community, we had Hortonworks on yesterday. So these blending of communities are kind of coming together, Jeff, to bring these new solutions to the marketplace. And it's, it really is interesting because, you know, open source has always been a kind of a fickle market and it's always been great, we've always been supportive of it, but you had almost like pure play uh, communities. Right, right. Now you're seeing an integration open source is maturing, maturing in real time, and now it's, it's, it's going to be really, really enterprise ready as these guys bring new solutions to the market. Yeah, and I think one of our guests yesterday talked about how OpenStack potentially is, is the foundation and the framework to pull all those other open source technologies together with the databases and um, the networking and, and, and 
you know, it, it really seems to be getting a critical mass. I'm reminded of the old fax machine days, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone, the fax got valuable and everybody had one, and it seems like the open source components within the infrastructure sure stack would, are all I'm coming together. I'm not sure I call it the fax machine, but I see the metaphor. You think, I think it's yeah, a metaphor. It's a metaphor. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. uh, reaching back to old metaphors here, uh, <laughs> showing, showing my agent gray here amongst uh, the, the people, excitement the, that's the here. It's the people aspect too, Jeff, that's interesting. I mean, it's, it's really an engaging community. Last night I was at the parties, uh, we went and saw the first one was uh, um, Co-Raid, um, Big Switch, and Marantis had an event. Uh, all their top customers and partners were up there. Great to get some insight into some of the things that they're thinking about. Uh, we then went to the HP party. Right, That right. was interesting, that met was the top good. dogs at HP. Got to hear their story, and, and, they're, and they're clear. Hey, this is not even the first inning. They're looking at this as a value play, not as a volume play for cloud. And so their customers and their users are builders of cloud enterprises. So HP actually has a really coherent strategy. Uh, it's a complicated thing for HP to do. They're such a huge company. Uh, we're going to hear from Sar Gile, uh, three o'clock here, who oversees that. He reports right up into the COO, and they meet with Meg Whitman basically weekly to review cloud. Meg Whitman uh, is obviously into the cloud as part of their transformation. So, you know, don't count HP out. HP's real player. And then finally, we at the end of the night, went to the Puppet Labs party and Puppet is based in Portland at their office. And that was where everyone was letting loose. You know, the developers, a lot of good crowd there. So again, saw Red Hat there and a bunch of other folks. So again, you know, part of the, these events is to, is to you know, go face to face and, and meet the folks in person. That's and right. last night we had an amazing set of conversations. That's right, and, and that is a big piece of it. Is, is here at theCUBE you get to, you know, we talk about the technology and we have a lot of technology conversations, but I think really one of the interesting things is, is the stories of the people and how these people came together to solve problems and who, who kind of the personalities that are and the driving force behind these things to really make it happen, because it just doesn't happen in a vacuum, it doesn't happen Yeah, I mean, by I, think, I think OpenStack's a disruption right now. I think it's disrupting some of the open source dynamics. It's interesting, I mean, the, the rabid developers are here going crazy and they're bringing real code to the table. Um, um, obviously a contribution model is the open source um, uh, um, protocol. Um, contribute with code, that's the message here. Um, so OpenStack will disrupt the communities of open source. It's also going to disrupt the enterprise market and the service provider market because now that's going to be the journey for the next 10 years, next decade, is a flourish of growth. And one of the things that we pointed out on day one and we talked about yesterday is everything that's driving these mega trends is that there's a demand for investments in IT and IT is not just for large enterprises having data centers, it's also the service providers. So, that, in, that investment is on the table. People are, are mandated, build out this modern infrastructure. Right. Now the problem with IT is, is that they got to change their mindset to a DevOps mindset, infrastructure as code, and completely retool their, the way they do things. And over the past 15 years, IT has not been a growth industry. It's been more operational, older practices, and so a lot of the talent in the enterprise just isn't there, and that's why Marantis is doing so well because they have the services. So, you know, one of the big underlying messages that we're going to follow here on siliconangle.com and Wikibon is, are IT, is IT ready for open source scale out? How do they do it? How do they get the personnel and resources to do it? And that fundamentally is the golden opportunity for all involved, from startups, to the communities themselves, the developers of the software, and then ultimately the incumbent players like IBM, EMC, HP, VMware, they're all got a huge stake in this. And again, they got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah, the other kind of interesting thing, theme I think is how these really innovative uh, consumer facing companies that were first to get on the cloud, were first to, to use really rapid development techniques to roll out features and functionality very quickly, to have really rapid search, um, those types of experiences are driving the expectations that people have of their IT. So now the, now the guys at work's going, hey, I'm, I'm expecting the same type of access, the same type of speed of development, the same type of rollout of new features and functionality as I get with all the other applications that I interact with every day. And uh, it's a challenge, you know, because all these new companies, they don't, they're not encumbered by the infrastructure and really the, um, the heterogeneity of the systems that most of these big enterprises have kind of behind the cover. So it's, it's, uh, it's exciting times and, and uh, we're excited for day three. 
Yeah. At OpenStack so go, Summit. go to siliconangle.com, all the top stories in tech are there. SiliconANGLE is a reference point for tech innovation. Um, we've been uh, very active in the Hadoop, big data space, as well as converged infrastructure, but as we call software-led infrastructure. And go to SiliconANGLE, and you have all the news there, you got stories there, and you got you know, our main blogging. But also go to wikibon.org. Wikibon.org is the, where the research is. That's where David Floyer posts, that's where Dave Vellante posts, Dude Miniman, Jeff Kelly, among all the other analysts uh, in our team. That's free research. And you can go sample big data reports on all the big data activities. Go to wikibon.org slash big data and look at some of the work. It's all free content. So we are about open source content here in the Silicon Angle. The Cube is our broadcast. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. There's not a lot of noise here, Jeff. It's a lot of <laughs> signal. We need more guys. David Floyd is out on the ground in sessions again today. We'll expect to hear from him later, but again, Big story here is OpenStack has, has hit the tipping point. It's going mainstream. The developers are endorsing it with their, with their code. As they say, they're voting with their feet. As the expression goes here, they're voting with their code. And you're seeing some serious user uh, examples here. And that ultimately means this is a real deal. Enterprises should be serious about this, and they are. Should be a great day. Okay, so that's day three kicking off here at theCUBE. We've got some, again, great interviews coming up today. Um, just to kind of run down, we're going to have um, uh, Ross Turk on from Ink Tank, and obviously we're going to hear from th those guys. Obviously, Ceph has been really a, been a big trend that a lot of IT guys are interested in. We're going to hear from them. Um, we're going to also hear from Rackspace right after here. We want to rerun that s uh, sequence, because that's a really good, good uh, sequence of Rackspace. And again, great example of Rackspace being a leader here, uh, leveraging the open source business model. Then we got uh, Sargilay at one, uh, one o'clock um, from HP hear from him, he's the top dog at HP, and it's going to hear what he has to say. And then we got startup at two o'clock, we've got CloudBite, SaltStack, and then three o'clock, Martin Casado, who is with VMware, but he still has on his badge Nasira. So he is a real candid, solid guy, just put out a great blog post, I'm reading it now, uh, about what Nasira's doing, and obviously they were involved in OpenStack prior to the acquisition, so that should be a fun interview at three o'clock. And then 3.30, Jim Curry, and then MetaCloud, and then we'll close it out, day three here. This is exclusive coverage from SiliconANGLE here, day three, OpenStack Summit. If you want to tweet us, I'm at Furrier, uh, use the hashtag open source, I mean OpenStack, and uh, we'll look for that. Any questions, send them our way, and we'll address them, we'll try to get those questions into the guests. So we'll be right back with more footage here live on the ground at uh, OpenStack Summit. We'll be right back at this short break.